Hello, and welcome to this brief tutorial to Omeka.net. In this short video, we are going to create our Omeka account with a free trial for our first Omeka site. We will also add our first site to our account. If you haven't already, go ahead and navigate to the Omeka.net site by typing in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.omeka that's o m e k a dot net n e t into the address bar of your preferred browser. I'm currently using Google Chrome. At this point, I would like to go ahead and point out that there are actually two Omeka sites. One is located at omeka.net and the other is omeka.org. Make sure that you are on the omeka.net site and not omeka.org. Omeka.org is for people who wish to install Omeka on a server to host their own collections. Since we will not be doing that in this course, make sure you are navigating to Omeka.net. To create your free trial on Omeka.net, you will need to click the Pricing tab at the top of the Omeka.net website, as you can see here. You should be taken to a page that looks something like this. Go ahead and click on the Start Your Free Omeka Trial at the top middle part of the screen. It should take you to a page like this where you will enter your information to create an account. Go ahead and enter the required information and set up your account. When you finish signing up, a verification email will be sent to your email address you provided when you signed up to Omeka.net. If you click the link in the provided email, you should be taken to your Omeka.net account. The web page you are taken to when you click the activation link should look something like this. To create your first site, you're going to click the Add a Site button under your account should see a page that says this has information for adding your subdomain name, the site title, and a site description. The site description, it must be noted, is not a requirement to set up a site, but it would certainly be helpful if other people are going to be using your site. The other two items, the site title and the subdomain name, are required, so we must fill those out. So I'm going to create my first site by thinking of a memorable name for it. And I'm just going to make mine Call Your Library 2019. You can pretty much name it whatever you like as long as it's unique. So here I'm going to put Call Your Library 2019 in a user-friendly way. And then I'm going to click Add Your New Site. When I click that, I should be taken back to my sites and I should now see my very first site where there's no storage used. I can view and manage my site. I can even delete it if I don't like it. 